Hi, my name is Tim Hart Anderson. I'm the senior pastor of Westminster Presbyterian Church in beautiful downtown Minneapolis. This film will introduce you to a thriving urban congregation, worshiping God, serving God in the heart of the city. We'd like you to consider becoming a part of our congregation if you're not yet a member. And if you are a member of our church, we want you to consider sharing not only this film, but your excitement about Westminster with others. I'm attracted to Westminster because it is so extremely welcoming and open and I feel so comfortable here. I like it so much because I really feel that we are reaching out to all the things that God really wants us to do. What sets Westminster apart is that it strives to follow its policy of the open door. Everybody is welcome. And Westminster has a beautiful worship service that's very traditional while still having a message and a theology that speaks to many folks. Worship is at the heart of what we do and who we are as a people. For me, theologically, a Christian basically does two things. One, love God, and secondly, love neighbor. And at Westminster, we work hard at both of those. The love of God happens in our praise of God, in our worship, and uh, it's a weekly uh, restatement of who we are uh, as people of God. And the love of God uh, draws us into that community that gathers every week. Uh, we begin by praise and adoration, we sing, uh, we confess our need for God's grace, we hear the assurance of God's forgiveness to us, we hear God's word to us. And we respond, we give ourselves in our tithe and offering, and uh, we go forth to serve. The core of our music program at Westminster is built upon the Western European tradition, a classical tradition with the choir and organ at its center. But in addition, we are exploring Celtic music, jazz, global music through our global choir, and musical expressions that link us to people and Christians across the globe in all times and all places. Through our 11 musical ensembles at Westminster, we hope that anyone who would like to participate in music or use their gifts to express thanksgiving can find a place to do so. I am associate pastor for evangelism and fellowship, which means that it is my call here to welcome you to Westminster Presbyterian Church. My work is to link folks who come to Westminster as visitors and new members to the worship services in which we glorify God, to advocacy and service, working for justice, and to educational opportunities that help us grow in our spiritual and intellectual lives. Westminster is a place where you can give of your time and talents in many ways. In fact, without volunteers, we would not be the church. I appreciate so much the dedication in this congregation to show hospitality towards everyone. At Westminster, it's important that children, youth, and families know that they belong here, that they are a vital part of who we are as a church family, that here is a place where they can grow and learn about their faith, but also lead and serve. Through our Sunday School and Confirmation process, our children and young people learn more about their faith and explore that faith. They do that in a traditional classroom setting. They also learn more about God and express their faith through music, art, dance, drama. This is a safe place for children to learn about who they are, about who God is, and learn about their place in God's world. I think there is a deep hunger in people, both intellectually and spiritually, to grow in their faith, to find a way to make their faith relevant to their lives every day. Um, and also, this is an intelligent congregation. These are people who are 
curious intellectually, and um, and they want that to be satisfied in the context of their faith community. Um, it's interesting and exciting to see that hunger unfold, and as we have an excellent speaker or a stimulating class, people send their evaluations in saying, just give us more, 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 more of this. biblical message of grace alone. Our ministry of congregational care here at Westminster is a part of who we are and what we do as Christians. It's reaching out with and being with each other. Uh, we are involved in the times of joy in people's lives, marriage, baptism, birth of a child, adoption, and we journey with each other through times of difficulty and challenge, loss of a job, uh, times of, of uh, illness, death of a loved one. All of our pastors are involved in ministries of visitation and pastoral care, but the core of who we are is our visitation and our involvement of laypersons, leading the ministries and being involved one-on-one -on -one with visitation with other folks in homes and nursing homes and so forth. A major part of my interest in this position at Westminster is that it provided the opportunity to be deeply involved in the life of the city and urban ministry and a ministry of systemic change for the sake of justice is the call that I felt and have been involved in for more than 30 years. This entire area of the church's life now called the Faith in Action Council and there are five ministry teams within Faith in Action of uh, housing, hunger, social justice, community partnerships, and global partnerships. I've been involved in all of those things throughout my ministry except for the global partnerships. So that's been a very new thing for me and so very interesting to be involved in building these global partnerships with the Kumba Town Presbyterian Church in Cameroon and the uh, congregation in Matanzas, Cuba and uh, the Ecumenical Seminary in Salvador, Brazil. Westminster has been active in this city now for nearly 150 years and along the way it has seen the need to create different specific ministries meeting certain uh, mission needs that we've seen in the city or beyond. One of those is our counseling center. Uh, it's an outstanding way we are a telling presence for the care and the love that Christ offers in this community. Another way in which we've extended the telling presence of Westminster is through the Westminster Town Hall Forum program we do with MPR. The Town Hall Forum invites speakers from across the country to come into our sanctuary and engage us in conversation about cutting edge ethical, moral issues that are of concern to us in terms of social and economic situations in our country. We value open minds and intellectual curiosity at Westminster and the Forum allows us to engage one another in good conversation about our life together. The level of intellectual theology, the uh, openness of accepting new people right away, that's what I liked about Westminster. It is a place with an open door. The first time I came to Westminster, what struck me was the door. I'd seen it on the letterhead, this arch over a pair of double doors, and the door was open. And it said to me something about this church. It's that, come on in, be with us, be part of this thriving community, worship with us, learn together, grow together, and then go back out the door into the city. That open door symbolizes a lot to me about Westminster. That was my first impression, and frankly, it's a lingering impression about the life of this congregation. A door open to the city to draw people in and to go out with them into the city to serve. Westminster is an open door and a telling presence.